So in this review, I am reviewing the Mattel Star Wars Disney Darth Vader basic plushie. Now, yes, I did take a look at the Scarlet, Scarlet Witch one yesterday and the Leonardo one from Mutant Mayhem last week. So in this week, we are looking at, I mean, in today's review, or, I mean, I am putting this on my, uh, 3rd August unboxing, so, compilation, so, yeah. Um, here he is without the tags on, and I will tell you guys, before I end the video on how I got into Star Wars, when I was, like, a little kid, so, anyway, uh, before, um, I show you guys what he looks like without the tags on. Pretty nice detail. And he got a little leather on him. Like leather gloves and boots. So let's go ahead and take the tag. Like the little hanger off him. The little uh, plastic thing. And the tag. So we'll be right back. Okay guys. So here he is without the little... Hanger thing that he hangs on and here he is without the tag on Pretty cool picture. I might probably display this after the video now Here's my origin story on how I Got into Star Wars before they were owned by Disney now um, The very first Star Wars film I watched when I was little was the 2008 Clone Wars movie that was by Warner Brothers for some reason, because I thought Fox would have made the movie. But I think in the Clone Wars movie, the one that's based on the show, a few months after the the movie came out in theaters, is on Disney Plus. I don't know. I will have to look again. And the very first character who I liked when I was a little kid was Darth Vader. Why? I mean, look at him. He's like, kind of reminds me of Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII, but he used to be a good guy named Anakin Skywalker and joined the dark side, and that's how he became Darth Vader. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.